Hi, my name is Brian from Denmark, your tech friend, and in this video I will be giving you a camera review of this brand new Moto G41. This phone boldly claims to have optical image stabilization, which is especially good if you're recording video, of course. And it has a triple camera setup with a 48 megapixel main lens, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel macro lens. In this video, I will of course be checking those lenses out and show you the Moto G41's camera feature so you can be the judge for yourself. If you find value in the content you're about to see, then please do press like, comment and subscribe as it helps this channel, my channel, with YouTube's algorithm. So here's the camera options on the Moto G41 and you have them separated into two parts, the photo part and the video part. And what immediately springs to my eye is this double recording only being on the photo part. Because on a phone that claims to have optical image stabilization, why don't you have it on the video part? That would have been most brilliant if you're that outdoors vlogging style type that likes to record front-facing and backwards-facing camera at the same time. This Motorola is an... Uh, but you got all these kind of different options as portrait, spot, color, night, vision, cinegraph, panorama, group selfie, live filter, pro, double take, and this out clip. I don't know exactly how to translate that. Video, slow motion, and, and you have this hyperlapse. So that those are the options in the video mode besides just ordinary stabilized video, which we will check out right now. Okay, so this is a test of stabilization on the Moto G41 at the top, and the Samsung A12 on the button. This A12 has got no stabilization. As, well, at least it's not mentioning any. Whereas the G41 is claiming it's got a lot. So I'm just working with these two phones handheld. So how well does these two phones stabilize in your opinion? And also just as a comparison with the most expensive Samsung phone you can get. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra on the top and the Moto on the bottom. How do you think these two guys stabilize in comparison with each other? So now you've seen the cheap Samsung and the most expensive Samsung. So this is a test of dynamic range and contrast on the Motorola G41 using its ultra-wide lens so we can get the entirety of Greta Thunberg into our shot. How dare you! What do you think about all the colors and how about the dynamic range from this little bit dark grass, somewhat more colorful foreground and then very light background with the sun and the sky here in Denmark. It's kind of windy as always so excuse the noise in the mics, but that's what you'll get on a windy day. And just as a reference also with the main camera, of course, so you can compare the wide lens to this one. I don't think there's any kind of optical image stabilization. It doesn't look that uh, on the screen at least. And I, on the computer also yesterday I found it somewhat disappointing, but uh, well, that's up to you to decide. And you can actually video record in macro mode. This time it's not the camera not shaking, it's just the wind. Endless wind here in Denmark. And let's just also try to look out for stabilization on the selfie camera. If it's here, they put it. They don't state that, of course. But this is how it uh, looks. The stabilization on the selfie camera, what is your? opinion of it I'm holding walking along this holding it handheld in one arm so this should provide for some stabilization if it's got any
If you found value in the content you just saw, then please do press like, comment and subscribe. If you want to hear my opinion about this phone, then here it is. Motorola stop making outrageous wrongful claims. Instead focus on the real value of this phone, which is in the OLED screen. That is brilliant for the price point, the 5000 mAh battery and the fast charge, which makes the Moto G41 an excellent media consumption device for the price, as you will see in my upcoming review up here. Outstanding 48 megapixel camera system with optical image stabilization is not a strong point on this phone. My name is Brian from Denmark, your tech friend, and I'll see you in the next one. Ooh.